In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to compile and run the ODBC program for this class. So go to the course website and download odbc.zip. And this should go into your download directory. And I'm going to unzip that into my home direct my db2ins1 home directory. Go inside the OBC directory. Now here I'm using a make file. Um, I've tpread.c, utilcli.h, and .c. Um, utils, these are all files that, I, that I'm using from the, um, the sample programs that come with the tp2 server installation. So uh, first you need to modify the make file to point to the right path. So in this case, um, the sqlib directory is under slash home slash db2 ins1. The include path is should go to wherever that you have the include files that I gave out in the sqc.zip. Or if you have the um, db2 connect installed, you can also point to the include files there. You do not need the minus M64 unless you're compiling on the Mac, and the rest should be good. Okay, let's take a look at the main program. Okay. These are the three handles that's used to set up the program. Uh, Here's where we set up the database alias and so on. So I'm going to use my database that I'm using is ICS 321A. The user is db2ins1. And you should put in whatever password that you have set. And um, here I'm reading. Um, results from this query select, select star from customers. Now I do not have the customer table in ICS 321A so I'm going to create it. Vacha 30 And I'm going to insert two tuples into it. And use one John. I think this works too. Shouldn't have used double quotes. Should be single quotes. Okay. Now, if I do select star from customers, you see this. Just do a db2 commit, and now I'm ready to run my program. Or have to make it first. Um, just type make, and give me two warnings nothing to worry about and I should have an executable called TB read execute TB read um, okay give me an error I have a username and password error so let me take a look oh, I have a typo in my username so just fix that and Recompile, remove all the .o files, and do a make again. Now we can execute, and the program runs as expected. Okay. Thank you for your time.